Howdy friends. So, you came here to learn how to get unlimited mods. Well, I'm going to show you how to get nearly unlimited mods, and by that I mean 4096. Because, you can only have 4096 ESLs before your game like crashes, and the engine breaks. So, yeah. We're going to be converting ESP files into ESLs. Now, there's two ways that I know of that you can bypass the 255 plugin limit. One way is using merge plugins. Now, merge plugins is very efficient and works very well and it's very good, but there's a couple problems I have with it. One, I have problem with BA2 files in their models. They usually don't show up for me. Second, it's very time consuming if you're merging a ton of mods together. And third, some mods are just not compatible to be merged together. So that's good. And if you want to learn how to do that, other people have made videos. And I will put the link in the description below and you can go check those out. But that is not what we are doing today. Today, we are converting ESP files to ESLs on the creation kit. Now, before we even start that, I'm going to give you a couple warnings. One, do not convert massive ESP files and I'm talking world mods overhaul mods massive weather mods massive merge mods like where it's like 30 weapons don't do that because there is a limit to what these ESLs can handle and the amount of forms they can have because these are supposed to be light plugins so just stick to merging you know singular armor and weapon mods two do not convert an ESP that has multiple master files. So if it needs multiple masters to function, do not convert it. And three, if this ESP needs to be loaded below another ESP, do not convert it because what will happen is the ESP is going to turn into an ESL and that ESL is going to go above whatever ESP it needs to be loaded below of. So that becomes a problem, obviously. So just don't convert it if it needs to be loaded below something. Now let's get into this process. First things first, you're going to have to download a mod. So why don't we download a weapon mod first? So here I found a cool weapon mod by Nero. And you obviously want to check the description of the mod and check where to find it, check how to get it, check all these things. I'm downloading it with Nexus Mod Manager. Now, if you are using Nexus Mod Manager, it works perfectly fine. But you have to think about this. You need the most recent version of Nexus Mod Manager, okay? If you don't have it, update it because this won't work otherwise. Another thing I didn't mention is that these mods or these ESLs are not going to be able to be updated so make sure you get a finalized version of the mod otherwise you're going to have to just reinstall it. So what you're going to want to do is keep Nexus Mod Manager open and keep it on the plugins tab which is right next to the mods tab. Next you're going to want to go into your file explorer and go into your Fallout 4 data folder. Mine is in Steam Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, Data, and you will find your mod somewhere in there, or your ESP. Now, keep this open in the back because it just makes the process quicker, more efficient. Next, we're going to open up the Bethesda.net launcher to open up Creation Kit. When open, the Creation Kit should look like this. And all you will have to do is click this folder on the side, or you could go to File, Data, and open up your plugins that you need to open up. So always start with the Fallout 4 ESM, make sure you click it just in case, and find your ESP. You click it, then you set the ESP as an active file, right here by clicking this. Now then you press OK. You wait for it to load, depends on your system, how fast it'll be. Okay, so once it's done loading, you might get an error message. That's okay. Some mods have error messages. Just click OK, whatever. Now, we're going to start the process. So, you go into File. You select Compact Active File Form IDs first. And once you click this, you just press Yes. That's all you got to do. Then you click OK. You go back into file, you go to the one right underneath this that says compact 
active file to Lightmaster. You click that, you say yes, and that's pretty much it. That's legitimately the process. <laughs> that's all it takes. Now, make sure you exit the creation kit if you want to make another conversion. Just do it because it could cause errors. You can keep the Bethesda.net launcher open, but close the creation kit completely because it could, like I said, cause some errors. And I've seen people report problems of that. Now, you're going to have Nexus Mod Manager open. Try to find your plugin. It should be up at the top, like I said, because it loads above things. And here it is, right here, my ESL. You click it and make sure it's checked off. Now, you're going to notice it does count and it does keep a number of your plugins when you do activate the ESL. But it won't actually count towards the 255 plugin limit. Now, what we're going to do is find our ESP file, which is in the file explorer that we opened before. You can either create a backup for your ESP file in case anything goes wrong, or you can just delete it, which is what I'm going to do. And that will remove it from the plugin order, so it won't count towards the 255 plugin limit. Now that we've got this mod active, let's check it in game. Alright, so they said I could craft this at the chem lab, so let's look for it. Ah, oh, here it is. Alright, so, I guess I'll just go with the finder. Alright, everything looks pretty fine to me. Let's see, giant explosion should happen. Ah, there it is. Oh, oh, well that's not good. Oh, <laughs> well shit. Alright, so, that's all it takes guys. It's really that simple. If you have any problems, make sure you rewatch the video thoroughly to make sure you're not making any mistakes. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.